Okay, so the situation is I've got an insane elf called Rumpelstiltskin, who you might have seen on the TV show Once Upon a Time. Uh, Rumpelstiltskin sometimes um, thinks that he's Mariadoc from Lord of the Rings, and he is out to save the world. And other times he seems like he's possessed and acts like a insane tyrant. Uh, now I've also got um, his group of kooky people. We had um, Pindar, the reptilian Draco, who was absolutely horrible, horrible. Rumpelstiltskin um, basically sat on my memory bank so I couldn't remember anything and I always had to ask him um, what to do because I couldn't access my memories. Um, let's see, and then he had a terrible temper and he would have terrible temper tantrums and there was nothing I could do to stop it except just bear with it. Then his horrible gang um, came along. There was Pindar the Reptilian Draco who was just the most uh, indescribable indescribably horrible and his friend little by little who was another horrible horrible um, Rumpelstiltskin basically pretends to be out to help everyone um, but secretly he basically likes to fight and he keeps looking for people who will fight him. He wants to get into cage matches. Um, so he's taken on a troll. Um, and he, he didn't beat the troll, but the troll didn't beat him either. I think he decided it was a draw against the troll. Um, against me, well, he beat me. And he uses me as bait to get um, other people to try to help me. I do need help because Rumpelstiltskin has got um, either scalar weapons or city powers. Um, whether he's a fairy or not, I don't know. I've never seen him other than images that get beamed at me. But the story continues. So basically what Rumpelstiltskin wants is the Pleiadians to take him on because he figures there's no humans that will take him on. He asked the hooded sage, um, Chris Krepchek, to take him on, and uh, Krepchek basically, well, he's disappeared now. Um, the story is that Rumpelstiltskin is a dark elf of the fifth dimension who was expelled from uh, Fairyland because he's such a insane person and he hijacked a Egyptian spacecraft and uh, is now in um, some kind of a sta space station where he has got his team. Um, they are basically marooned at this space station and um, the <clears throat> David Wilcock and Corey Good talk about this um, inter-space inter corporations that um, basically are, they, they are the ones that deliver the goods to the space stations and so these these spacecraft come and they dock at the space station and they uh, offload various transient visitors who come and go um, Rumpelstiltskin has got a bar on there on this uh, place we call it the hutch or the hatch and that is where he hangs out with his gang and these other ones that come through from time to time um, mostly they come and go uh, but Rumpel's always there and some of the other ones are always there and uh, basically he's looking for someone to take him on and, <clears throat> and now that I'm told that the Pleiadians have the capability to dismantle scalar weapons. Um, 
he wants them to come and take him out or try to because he lives to fight that's basically what he does and he figures that um, that's all he wants to do so but he's got these strange romantic leanings towards Mariadoc of Lord of the Rings he thinks Mariadoc is his hero so no one understands why he would think Mariadoc is his hero because Mary is all about you know getting rid of the evil and letting everybody live happily ever after Rumpel Stiltskin does have a certain idea that at some point things could get to be like that but in the meantime he wants to be like the Highlander and he wants to be the toughest imp on the block and so what he does is he uses me as bait for people to come and rescue me he considers it a Kobayashi Maru because he figures that no one is ever going to take him out and if you've ever watched Rumpelstiltskin on Lord of the um, um, Once Upon a Time he basically uh, was the chief of the whole thing we didn't get that far into the series and apparently at some point I think he died or something so but this one still is alive and he kind of poo poos the whole thing as a Hollywood take off of his real life so anyways uh, if anyone's in contact with the Pleiadians um, Rumpelstiltskin wants to take them on and um, if they don't take him out then he's going to continue to um, cause a lot of trouble for me in particular and I don't know who else he causes trouble for why did he pick me um, I don't know he really doesn't say I guess I was not strong enough to fend him off Uh, the only other thing they say is that my, what they call my beacon, um, tends to heal them of their evil tendencies, although that could be a crock too, because he's, he says he's 2,700 years old, and, you know, if you listen to Dr. David R. Hawkins talking about the lower astral, the beings there are thousands of years old, and they're very tricky they they hone their craft at tricking humans and um, so is he trustworthy no but is he worth fighting um, no I wouldn't fight Rumpelstiltskin um, I don't think you are going to be able to take him out um, and I don't think advanced beings are really into warring with a crazy elf who considers his group the insane clown posse insane clown posse like the band but he thinks that that's what they like to be um, sometimes they call themselves the 214 squadron after um, the Corsairs uh, Marine Squadron of World War II uh, led by Major Pappy Boyington they're rogues they like to be independent they like to be considered pirates uh, they don't want to be ruled by anyone but they still have to be dependent upon these interstellar commercial craft to come and resupply them with whiskey and <clears throat> transients who come in and apparently the transients that come in have got to pay a fee and the fee allows them access to the scalar weaponry which is used on me and I'm quiet because they're trying to discuss what they want to say and it's kind of on the fly well, that's basically how it works. So the cosmic characters are Rumpelstiltskin's gang and some other ones that are maybe not part of the gang that just sort of pop in. But that's the background of Rumpelstiltskin. Uh, never trust him. He 
likes to call himself capricious. He thinks that he is a bit of a game master. He likes to be in control of the game. And where does he want to eat? Well, he says that he's pushing everyone towards peace, but he uses war in order to get people off of dead center. So in other words, if people don't want to participate, he will rock them this way and that way. And sometimes he wants to war with them, and sometimes he'll make peace and treaties. But basically, he just wants to be a player in the game, uh, a major player. And you know, using me is very silly, because if you look at the numbers of people that I have got that see my posts on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook, it is so small. Um, well, he's very illogical, but that is the story so far.